the life of Jesus, the teaching of Jesus should be engraved in our hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, we have the Gospel of St. John chapter 21 verses 20 to 25 for our today's reflection. In this particular passage, Jesus answers Peter regarding John. His answer shows that Jesus has a plan for each disciple. It means the Lord has a plan for each one of us who belong to him. Towards the end of the Gospel, Saint John the Apostle himself says regarding what he has written about Jesus is very enlightening and enriching. Though Saint John made great effort to give us a spiritual and theological gospel about Jesus, he says what Jesus did and what Jesus said the whole world cannot contain. It shows the greatness of Jesus. Saint John made genuine effort in giving us an account of the life of Jesus from what he has seen, what he has touched and what he personally experienced from the very person of Jesus. What he has given us is a sign, an indication and an inspiration which will enable us to come to the person of Jesus and experience for ourselves about the great personality and life of Jesus. The life of Jesus, the teaching of Jesus should be engraved in our hearts. The more we come close to the person of Jesus, his life will inspire us. And his life, his words should find a permanent place in our hearts, in our lives. It means his teaching, his life should be inscribed or engraved within our hearts. Saint Paul the Apostle, after having written many letters to various Christian communities, he speaks about another type of letter which was not written by ink but by the Spirit of the Living God, not on the tablets of stones but on the hearts of people. We need such a kind of letters in our life. The letter written by the Spirit of the Living God in our hearts regarding the person of Jesus. If we are able to possess that treasure of Christ encounter, Christ experience in our hearts, we will become the living gospels just as Saint John being the beloved disciple of Jesus could experience Jesus and he could give that treasure of experience, we too will become channels of the presence of Jesus. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray and desire like John the beloved disciple, all of us may remain close to the heart of Jesus and we may experience the very heartbeat of Jesus and we may become the instruments bringing that good news, that gospel to the people whom we encounter in our lives.